Tammy McGuire, and we're back to foster the family. It's a new year, so welcome. If you haven't subscribed, please do that now. Share and like so that others can find out how you can find joy through foster care or adoption. So today, that's what we're gonna talk about is how can you find joy? You ask how I know? Yes, I'm the founder of The Foster Closet. Being the founder of The Foster Closet is amazing. Being a foster parent for 13 years and having 61 children, probably the best part of my life. And then finally, adoption. The best thing in the life through foster care, you would think would be adoption, right? It's a great beginning, but it's also a difficult time for a beginning for the children and for yourself. We're gonna teach you how to find joy through fostering and how to find joy through adoption. The reason why is I was a foster parent for 13 years. It's been 15 years total with Foster Closet. Five years ago, we adopted our last two, 60 and 61. And you would think, wow, that's an amazing journey. And wow, that's the best time of your life now to end this beautiful forever home. Well, it is but it does come with struggles. So we're gonna teach you with joy and how to find joy in foster care and adoption and how that relates to you. If you're looking at adopting or if you're looking at fostering through the struggles, the ins and outs of the system and how you can find joy. Sometimes kids are coming in with a lot of trauma, a lot of hurt, a lot of anger, a lot of those unknown feelings that you might not know how to deal with. And that's okay. You're gonna learn, right? You're gonna get educated. You're gonna find support groups. You're gonna find um, foster adopted parents associations to really connect, to get you more educated. You're gonna provide these beautiful children some wonderful love and support, but you need support too. Why? The system. Sometimes you say, oh, there's gonna be so much happiness with these kids in our home and we're gonna start a brand new start in our family and our purpose in life. But guess what? When I go and speak to these families like you, I tell them that our children come with baggage. They don't come with their past. They don't come with their present. They don't come with biological needs or th therapeutic needs. They come with a system. And the system is a struggle. And the system not only gives you more reasons to not be happy or not give you joy, but a wonderment, an angerment, a frustration. And I'm gonna teach you through this process how to find joy in foster care. How do we find joy in foster care system? Well, education. I have to say to be educated is the difference between frustration and joy. I find the more that I'm educated in the foster care system, not just what the children are coming in with, but the system as a whole. How is my system made up in my state? How is my system made up in my city, in my county, my region, in my district? So you wonder why we can find joy through the foster care system when we really don't know anything about the system. What I want you to do is get connected. Find out if your state is privatized, find out who your community-based care organization is in your area. Get connected with a foster adoptive parents association or a support group. You need those mentors to help guide you who have been vetted in the system for quite some time. But the key is to find joy is to connect with those who have joy. So don't connect with those who are down and worried about the system or just really negative about the system, but those who really wanna make a difference and a positive impact and spread that joy to you because you are new, you're a happy, already ready for these kids. And you could be an older foster family who've been doing it for quite some time, but really struggling to find your joy. And you want that hope. You want to be poured into just as much as you want those children to be poured into, right? Right. So I'm here to tell you that you can find joy. And I'm gonna teach you and some little steps of how to find joy through the process of finding joy through foster care and finding joy as we support the foster care system. So number one, what I want you to do this week is get educated, get committed, get really supported by those around you who find the support of joy. That means reaching out to your Department of Children and Families and being connected that way to find education. And then also finding a mentor who can really pour into your family and give you hope. 
That's what I want you to do. That's your homework this week. Find joy in your own community that is mind-like, that is happy, that is ready to pour into you with education and with promise and hope for tomorrow with a foster care system. I'm Tammy McGuire. This is a short one. Foster to family, finding joy in the foster care community. See you next time.